Well guys, I kind of screwed up. If you notice on the door here, um, the diagonal on this side is smaller than the diagonal on this side. And I put the doors together backwards, <laughs> but they still fit. So who cares, you know, there's a small gap on this side and then a huge gap on this side or vice versa, I can't even remember, but it still fits, it still works, it still functions. It's pretty hilarious that I made that mistake and you'd never know unless you're sitting inside the cat. It's The doors are plenty strong. I mean, I got everything on there, welded up nice. I still gotta go over the outside of it or the inside of the, with a brush. Sikaflex is drying right now, so the you know the whole window has got Sikaflex on it and uh, the handle. So I'm not gonna mess around with it. I did get all the uh, trim on there, and I'm waiting on some more of uh, this stuff. So this has uh, an adhesive on one side. Come on, camera! Not today! Not today! Well, I guess it's not going to focus for you. Anyhow, it's got an adhesive strip on one side, and then um, it's just a bulb. And I use it on the back door here, and it's like the perfect fit. It just runs along there. It looks factory. So it runs all the way down. It looks really nice, and it seals up really nice, too. So uh, I ordered more of it. It's inexpensive. It's 18 feet for like 11 bucks. So what the heck, that'll make the doors a little bit more watertight and airtight. Um, <laughs> these, these things look uh, badass. It almost looks like an armored door from like a military vehicle or something, but they turned out really good. They look cool. What else did I do? Oh, I didn't show this on camera, but I went through and hit all the seams with Sikaflex. So, um, those are all, you know, sealed up as, as good as they can. And then on the dash here where the hinge is on the outside for motor access, I, um, uh, Sikaflex that closed too, because there was a little gap there. It's really starting to come together. I'm really pleased with how this is going. These doors, I mean, these doors turned out pretty darn good. I was going to use the original pieces that I cut out, but as you saw in the video there, I just used new pieces because I, I wanted an overlap. I think the overlap looks a lot nicer and is more practical. Um, that way it gives me more room to work with the frame. And these little windows worked out perfect. I didn't know if they were going to work or not. Um, I think they're like 80 bucks a piece on Amazon. It's a slider. So it's got the little sliding latch. And I'll pull the screens out of them here before we actually take them out. Because those will just get torn up by tree branches and stuff. So, But yeah, this is uh, it's coming together really well. I'm almost at the point when I'm done. Well, actually I am. When I'm done with the doors here, then I can focus on getting the rest of the accessories in. Uh, doing some plumbing and some wiring. And then we can uh, move forward. This rear door here, I really like the gas strut setup. It, it's perfect. Uh, the struts I believe are, they're either 60 or 80 pound, I can't remember, but it was a Amazon warehouse return. Somebody didn't want them. They're brand new. They're like 22 bucks for the pair. Plus the little brackets were another 10 bucks. So for 30 bucks, I got this door that basically opens on its own. It's actually really aggressive <laughs> when it opens, so you kind of got to get out of the way, which worked out perfect. So yeah, my vision, my dream, everything is coming together. There is, however, one issue. I'm going to share it with you guys because this is going to slow me down quite a bit. But I'll only have to do this one time in my life, hopefully. So Willow's been pulling these grousers apart, but check this out. Every single one of them. 
there's basically, I mean, I can punch holes in them with the screwdriver. There's really not a whole lot left to them. So I came up with an idea to make grousers. It's going to be time consuming and I'm only going to film like the first couple that I make because it's going to eat up a lot of my time, but I'll only have to do it once. Um, it's better to invest the money in it now. I feel a lot better taking Rusty out into the middle of nowhere with um, some better grousers that aren't going to fold up or snap off or break apart because then I'm really in trouble because if you don't have tracks on these, you can't move. So um, that'll be coming up after I get the wiring and the plumbing and a couple other things done. But other than that, I think that's going to be it. For this episode guys a lot in this episode i covered two days of footage so hopefully you can kind of see what i'm working them with here and uh, moving towards and man those doors once again i'm really stoked about that they turned out really good much better than i expected they're not perfect nothing on rusty is perfect by far there are mistakes galore but it's going to be way better than the original OEM stuff that I started with that was rusting and falling apart and I would have spent Hours chasing my tail to fix things on it. So I just scrapped it and then here we are, you know, seven eight months later and uh, I'm just bombing through this project. So If you guys uh, like this video, give me a thumbs up <laughs> If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber we're going to keep the channel rolling here. We got a couple more projects coming up that go along with this rusty build that I think you're going to really like. But as always, guys, stay safe, take care, and I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.